Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with seizure management in dogs. So seizures or epilepsy or convulsions. This is a very common feature in case of dog. So whenever any sort of problem is happening in the internal environment of dog or in the external environment, sometimes it may result in seizures or epilepsy. So we need to treat it and we need to manage it before our pet goes into a coma stage. So we'll be dealing with all those details in this video. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. So introductory part, what is actually epilepsy or seizures or uncontrollable tissue? So these are actually the brain waves, the electrical activity which is uncontrolled or the abnormal uncontrolled burst in electrical activity in your brain that leads to seizures. So what can cause a seizure? That is eating a poison, liver disease, low or high BP, kidney disease, electrolyte problems, anemia, head injury, encephalitis, strokes, brain cancers and also Parasites. So what are actually the symptoms in case of seizure? That is collapsing, jerking, stiffening, muscle twitching, loss of consciousness, drooling of saliva, chomping, tongue chewing, or foaming at the mouth. Sometimes they may poop or pee during the seizure. They fall to the side and make paddling motions with their legs. They will be trying to hide behind something. And they'll be looking unsteady, confused, or stare into space before a seizure. They might have a lot of drool in their chin. And they may walk in circles and bump into things. So these are actually common causes of seizure. That is heat exogen, low blood sugar calcium, high BP or low BP, brain tumor, poisons including chocolate, skin, idiopathic epilepsies, and parasites. So do's and don'ts, protect yourself being bitten whenever your dog or a pet is in a seizure. So protect your dog from harming himself and harming others. Do not restrain your dog during a seizure. If at all there is no the presence of a vet. Always call a vet whenever the dog is in seizure. So call your vet as soon as it's over. Take your dog to the vet if the seizure lasts too long and 3 to 5 minutes. So the main symptoms of seizure in dogs, it will be focal seizures, psychomotor seizures, cluster seizures, generalized or normal seizures. So symptoms and causes you can see once more. So these are actually dogs having epileptic seizures, small epileptic paddling movements. So this is forming at mouth. So the management, try to stay and stay calm and make your animal calm. Stay away from dog's mouth and head because they could bite you and they could cause damage to you. So as long as the seizure goes on, you have to check the body temperature because continuous seizure can cause brain damage and it can lead to brain trauma and finally death. And there is a chance of biting their tongue. So you have to prevent it. Avoid touching them all your way as soon as possible. So treatment actually we will be going for anti-epileptic drugs along with antipsychotics to make them relax and skeletal muscle relaxants to relax the stiffened muscles. So first line anti-epileptic drugs are phenobarbitone and diazepam. So sorry for the spelling, diazepam, diazepam, valium. So phenobarbitone and diazepam are the main first line drugs. So second line Anti-epileptic drugs, they are clonazepam, clorazepate, felbamate, gabapentin, levetiracetam, topiramate, valproic acid, and zonisamide. So, antipsychotics and the skeletal muscle relaxants depend upon the anti-epileptic drugs used because there are many contraindications with those drugs and the renal conditions and the hepatic conditions of the animal. So this is reactive epilepsy as it is actually a result of metabolic issues such as low blood sugar, kidney failure, liver failure. If at all these things are happening in the dog, this may lead to reactive epilepsy. The epilepsy will be a reaction towards these conditions. 
So types of seizure as actually focal seizures uh, that, that can affect only a part of the brain. So the dog will be experiencing the convulsion only in any part of the society. Next is generalized seizure that is entire body will be having convulsion. So focal seizure may last only for a few seconds. Uh, most commonly in canine distemper and rabies, they may exhibit focal seizures. So there are environmental factors such as uh, poisoning. If at all poisoning is happening means it can lead to seizure. If at all it has got a head injury, that can also lead to a seizure. So thank you guys.